Live here at DevNet Create, the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, the heart of Silicon Valley. Technology enablement, tools, education, and then fun and having people exchange information. Connect to create. really looking to stretch the bounds and talk to more software developers, folks that are building applications for the cloud. Here's the platforms and the APIs that matter to you. Here's the right level of abstraction of what would be relevant to an app developer and really speak to them. And yeah. DevNet Create is a separate venue created for that reason. The world of cloud native and enterprise is coming together. It has such a broad community. There's people all around the world that are contributing to it. It's teams now, it's on-call rotations, it's handing off the baton and sharing knowledge. Open source has become a tier one citizen and it's really running the world, which is also grounded in community as well. Yeah. The single person in a room keeping everything up is, is outdated. An app developer today needs to figure out how can they make money? How can they take all of everything they've invested in software and then bring it to a business value? You need to use the data, not treat it as a siloed, fenced-in data warehouse. That model's old, right? It's yeah. now horizontally scalable. You've got to have data to make other things happen. That's the way these services are working. I need to be able to find the unknown unknowns um, and instrumentation is absolutely the tactic to observability and strategy. Yeah. It is how people will be able to get information out of their systems in a way that is relevant to their business. For example, when someone tries to pull a copper plate from the cell phone tower, there's a sensor that tracks that. So now combining the video input and the sensor input, they get much fewer false positives yeah. and are able to take action much more expeditiously. Yeah. Instead of waiting 20 minutes for a query over a huge volume of data, you wait 10 seconds. You can go from query to query to query to query as you come up with hypotheses, validate them or invalidate them, and kind of continue on, on your mm -hmm. inve investigation path. We want to make developers successful. Yep. We want to make our partners in that broader mm -hmm. ecosystem and our customers successful. For our people that wanted to come and actually code the whole time that they were here, we put together a specific sort of experience for them. I think you think, well, there are these really smart people and they can predict the trend, cause the trend. I think it's more the game of big numbers, where if you have enough surfers in the water, somebody's going to catch a wave and look good. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can say, yeah, I knew he was the best surfer. Yeah, yeah. But really, right place, right time. And you got to know what a wave looks like, too. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to be like, okay, am I in a tide pool or am I on a boogie <laughs> board? There are companies that have built great communities, and what those companies are doing now is hiring in a rejuvenation team almost of you know, folks that know languages and systems across multiple different areas so that they can continue to build their program in new ways. When you start having new entrants into a market, start eating some of your breakfast, then they start eating some of your lunch, then you go, wait a minute, if I don't do something, my dinner's going to be eaten. I mean, you're starting to see people see their business at risk. That lights up the CXO, the CEO, the COO, CDO, yeah. CIO. Now it's like, okay, we got to make a move. Whatever you can do, that's going to improve your environment. I don't want people to feel like they have to absolutely transform everything because that's too big an ask. Yeah. You've got to be in the water. Yeah. yeah. Right? You can't be standing on the shore saying, yeah. I'm going to catch a wave. You have to be in the water. And if you're in the water, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to get crushed. <laughs> we have partners around the world who install and, you know, manage solutions that they put, you know, for their customers. Do what we call uh, a value management analysis. So we actually sit down with them, work out, you know, what, the, what their existing process looks like, what uh, an improved process might look like, and importantly, what kind of cost they can take out of the system, or uh, what kind of new value they can drive for their customers. So it's either an increase in revenue, it's a decrease in cost, or an improvement in process efficiencies. New skill sets are emerging, and folks need to take on these new skills to learn and to really flourish in their careers. You want to find some beginner projects, you can sort by difficulty and find only beginner projects. So much online information, you go to YouTube, there's always a how-to, these communities have great resources. There's no paywall or barrier to view all of our content, because our content comes from our community. The ability to spread ideas, all things considered is better. But it all goes back to how important a problem are you solving and what's the payoff of solving the problem. Yeah. The bigger the problem, the more the willingness. Why build it yourself if somebody has already done it? Like, yeah. please don't roll your own. Don't roll your own authentication. Don't roll your own LDAP. Like, it's a solved problem. Buy it and snap it together in the way that serves your customer. The performance of the application needs to be coupled, so then people tend to buy a kit of, here's the software, here's the hardware that makes it all work. 
together. I'm buying infrastructure, I want to buy these together. And the leverage of the network is a huge asset. And if they can make that programmable with an open source community behind it, man, this could be a, a, a whole nother Cisco. Not yeah. only connect to create, but also connect and protect to create. And we think that by building that into the infrastructure as well, we can help app developers to secure their customers' data, to secure you know, their users themselves, access and all sorts of things. The democratization of computing, the democratization of the transfer of information, I mean, all things considered, it's a great time to be alive. It's an evolution of skill, but it's also an evolution of how companies are structured and development organizations are built today. Cisco cracking the code on the developer form and about learning the languages, knowing how to lean into the right cultures and bring them together and have the right technology. Wrapping up two days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage of theCUBE, DevNet Create, the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. Thanks for watching.